moving objects to different layers. Sometimes we create our layers and we put the objects that we want on it at that time. But then later we decide to change layers or there's a change in the design and you want to move your objects around from one layer to another. Or maybe it was accidentally placed on one layer. So how do we fix that? Well, let's take a look. Let's come in and zoom in on this design here. I'll select this. And as you can see, this is currently on layer zero. I'll hit escape. I'll go ahead and select this. And this is currently on the EF door layer. I'll hit escape again to deselect. I'll pan over a little bit. I'll select this. And this is on the ES column. Okay. Let's look at one more. If I select this, this is on the E-B-core. Well, maybe this right here was actually supposed to be on the core layer that we just looked at. Well, one way we can change that is by selecting it, going down to the menu, and looking for that layer in here. That layer is up here at the top. And once we do that, we can deselect by hitting the escape key. We can select this to make sure this is the core. Hit escape again. This is our current layer that we're on right now. We'll select this, and now we can see it's on the core. Well, let's go ahead and undo that. We'll go ahead and undo. We'll select this icon here, and there. It's still on the actual column layer that it was supposed to be on. Let's pan over a little bit more. I'll hit escape to deselect that, and we'll select this red line here. And now these are file cabinets. Well, maybe the file cabinets weren't supposed to be on this layer. We just learned that we can go ahead and select a different layer while the item is selected. Another way we can do this is by pressing Control 1. And this opens up the properties. It's over here on the left side, docked. Now once this is opened up, we can get all this information about the item that we selected. And what we're looking at is the layer. So if we come to this field here and select it, pull down the menu, and we have all these choices of options of layers to put it on. Let's put it on phones. And as you can see, as I go through them, the color is changing for the layer that has that color. We'll go ahead and do this one. As you can see, it changes here as well. If I hit escape, I go back to my current layer. Well, let's go ahead and undo that to put it back. I'll go ahead and double click the middle mouse wheel to get the whole view. Let's zoom in one more place and try moving something around. I'll go ahead and select this item here. And it is on the chairs layer. Now, another thing I can do is I can right click. And now I have a menu. If I come all the way down to the bottom, I can go to properties. And again, I have the same thing I saw before. I can go to layers. I can click in this field, pull down the menu and switch it to whatever desired layer I want. And as you can see, as I go through the names, the color of the chair is changing. I'll go ahead and put it on the phones layer. I'll hit escape. And if you select this here, we see it's on chairs. Escape to deselect. Click on this, and we have phones. Now make sure when you're moving items from layer to layer, it's on the proper layer. Because as you can see, these have almost identical colors, but they're not on the right layers. So an item can get lost among the layers. So make sure as you're moving items around, you place them where you actually want them to be. And also make sure that the layer you're on is a layer you want to be on. So let's go ahead and put this back. By clicking undo, we'll go ahead and select that item. And it's still on phones, so we'll go ahead and hit undo one more time and select to see if it's on the right layer, and now it is. If you need to go back a few steps, you can go ahead and hit this arrow here. And these show all the last commands that we've been using. So proper use of your layers is very important because it can be very easy to lose an item among your layers.